Hey folks, DC here, DC's Gadgets. Doing a follow-up to a video I did last week. Um, I took a, uh, took a colony of a guy's soffit on Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday, yeah, on a Tuesday. And I went back Wednesday evening and sucked up the rest of the bees, or collected the rest of the bees. And there was enough bees to cover like two whole medium frames. So I just had a wild hair and decided to um, see what they'd do if I gave them some, some uh, larvae. So I did seven or eight grass, I think it was eight grass, put eight grass in a box, and they made four queens. So as I pulled out yesterday, today's Friday, the, uh, what is today? Today's Friday the 10th. So yesterday, Thursday, would have been eight days after graft, I pulled out the cap cells and stuck them in the incubator. I left one behind for the bees to make a queen. So, various things going on today. I wanted to set up another cell builder this weekend to do some more graphs. And I got a lot of stuff to do. I'm just, I'm busy. I'm always busy. Then I got a call, or I got a text anyway, that one of the club members needed a mated queen. And I knew I had some out in the mating yard. So I started thinking, you know, I'll go find a queen. And maybe I'll grab some frames of bees and put together a cell builder. So I went out in one of my mating nukes. And it was a two frame, one of my old two frame boxes I had. I found the queen in there, and it's full of bees, because this is actually the third queen coming out of that box. I think it's the third queen. But anyway, the, um, yeah, the last two queens had laid a bunch of eggs in, in there, so it was full of bees, packed full of bees. And I opened it up, and there's still some old cat brood, and there's eggs pretty much in every empty cell there was an egg, so she's been laying up a storm. I got to think, you know, I got, now I got this box full of bees. I don't have any virgin queens to stick back in a box. And I really need to put a mating box together. Sorry, um, cell builder together. So, what I did today is I took the, um, I took those two frames full of eggs and stuff and all those bees out. And I shook all those bees into my cell builder because I do not want brood in my cell builder. So I shook all those bees in the cell builder and I went in another beehive and I grabbed some, uh, some honey and pollen frames and stuck them in the cell builder. So I've got the two frames full of bees from the uh, cutout last week. And I've got two frames that I took out of my mating box. And they're, they're in a five frame box. And my cell builder. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to do some grass later on this afternoon. And I'll check them in a few days and see what they do. So uh, lem Lemons from Lemonade again, right? I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, last week I pulled that the remnant of the uh, colony out and they made some queens for me. They're in the incubator. Um, three in there now. The fourth one I'll actually pull this afternoon or later on. I left I left it in there. I'll go pull it out when I put the graphs in. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens. You know, if I can get if I get one queen out of that, it's still better than none. And we'll see what it does with the graphs I put in there this afternoon. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens.